The time foreordained unto the peoples and kindreds of the earth is now come. The promises of God as recorded in the Holy Scriptures have all been fulfilled. Out of Zion hath gone forth the law of God, and Jerusalem and the hills and the land thereof are filled with the glory of his revelation. Happy is the man that pondereth in his heart that which hath been revealed in the books of God, the help in peril for self-subsisting. Meditate upon this, O ye beloved of God, and let your ears be attentive unto his word, so that ye may, by his grace and mercy, drink your fill from the crystal waters of constancy, and become as steadfast and immovable as the mountain in his cause. In the book of Isaiah it is written, Enter into the rock and hide thee in the dust, for fear of the Lord and for the glory of his majesty. No man that meditateth upon this verse can fail to recognize the greatness of this cause or doubt the exalted character of this day, the day of God himself. This same verse is followed by these words, And the Lord alone shall be exalted in that day. This is the day which the pen of the Most High have glorified in all the Holy Scriptures. There is no verse in them that doth not declare the glory of His holy name, and no book that doth not testify unto the loftiness of this most exalted theme. Were we to make mention of all that have been revealed in these holy books and holy scriptures concerning this revelation, this tablet would assume impossible dimensions. It is incumbent in this day upon every man to place his whole trust in the manifold bounties of God and arise to disseminate with the utmost wisdom the verities of his cause. Then and only then will the whole earth be enveloped with the morning light of his revelation.